Hi everyone, it's Justin. When you hear people saying I'm a deep winter or I'm a soft summer, they're referring to something called the seasonal color analysis. It's a tool meant to help you find out which type you are, which season. And for each season, there is a predefined set of colors that will, in theory, suit you well. So you can take that set of colors and build your entire wardrobe around it. That tool is in fact meant to simplify your life <laughs> in a nutshell. So here is how it works and what limitations I see to that system. The four seasons method. At the beginning, the method is super simple. You first look at your undertone. I've done a video on how to find out what your undertone is. So if you've missed it, I link it below and here in the corner. Basically, very quickly, you're cool if your veins here are blue and if silver suits you better than gold and the other way around, you're warm if your veins here look rather green, greenish, and if gold suits you better than silver. Very quickly. <laughs> Let's assume for now that you're not neutral, you're either really cool <laughs> or really warm. Once you know your undertone, the next step is to look at your features here. So the natural color of your hair and the color of your eyes. You take that as a whole and overall, you'll be somewhere between very light, blonde with blue eyes, and very dark or deep, as this method calls it, light deep. Deep would be black hair, black eyes, okay? We have four parameters right now. We have cool, warm, and we have light deep. Matching those parameters gives us four seasons. On two axes, we have summer and winter on the cool side, spring and autumn on the warm side. Why are summer and winter on the cool side? Think about it in terms of color palettes. In winter, everything looks pale because of the weaker sunlight. In summer, the sun is so strong that the colors seem bleached out. So winter and summer are cool season in terms of colors. On the warm side, in spring, the warm sun is coming back. And in fall, the leaves look golden and fire red. So spring and fall are the warm seasons. And then the difference is whether it's a light or a deep version, and that gives you the difference between summer and winter, and between spring and autumn. If you clearly fit into one of those four seasons, your case is very simple. Let's say you're a spring that's light and warm. Any color that's light and that has a warm undertone in it, that's a bit of yellow, a bit of orange, a bit of dark brown, will suit you fantastically. If you're a winter, then a deep color that has a cool undertone in it, so adding blue, will suit you well. Very simple. The problem starts when you're not clearly one of those four types. What if, for instance, your hair is ash blonde, really, really light, almost white, very blonde, but your eyes are dark brown and not light blue. <laughs> so that would make you a mix of summer and fall. And that's impossible, in theory. Moving on from four to 12 seasons. The initial method with four seasons was missing one extremely important thing, and that's the chroma. So we have the undertone from cool to warm. That's actually a matter of color because in cool we add blue, in warm we add yellow and red. The next parameter we already had, that's the value from light to deep, which is actually called dark in color theory, but in this method it's called deep for some reason. We're adding one more line, which is the chroma and that moves between bright and muted, which this method calls clear to soft. So the chroma is the level of brightness of intensity of the color. A pure blue, for instance, is very bright, very clear. If you add orange to it, it's complementary color, it will look more muted, like if you were turning off the brightness of the color. The value on the other side is playing with white and black. The value is lighter if you add white, and it gets darker, deeper, if you add black. So in the more recent method of color analysis, we still look at your undertone, we still look at your value, but now we also look at your chroma. And so instead of having four simplified seasons, now we have 12. Here is how it works. Out of the six words that you see here, choose which one is dominant on you when you look at yourself in the mirror. I think it's not easy if you don't work with colors on a daily basis, but that's your first characteristic, what strikes most when looking at yourself or ask somebody to do it for you. And then you choose a secondary characteristic, so it is called, out of those six words. If your first word was not cool or warm, 
then the second characteristic has to be either cool or warm because we need the undertone to be somewhere in there. And whether your undertone is placed first or second on your little list matters too. Your season, according to this method, can then be seen here. That's the official table and I also link the source in the description below the video. To make it confusing, they're using the words muted and soft, but you can just assume that they're synonyms. This list of 12 seasons is less intuitive than with only four seasons, clearly, but it's more precise. For each of those 12 seasons now, there is a set of color chips that you can purchase. It's a color palette of things that will suit your specific type and you can build your entire wardrobe around the colors that your type gives you. For whom this method does not work? In my opinion, there are still quite a few cases that are not covered by this template, by this table. The first case is what if your undertone is not cool or warm, but neutral? You have many more color options for your wardrobe. They are not represented in there. Then if your hair is gray, which happens to everyone <laughs> sooner or later, then you would be automatically a winter according to that template, but you can still have a warm undertone. So I don't agree. Another limitation, pretty important one is if your skin is not somewhere between Caucasian and light brown, but it's darker than that, or olive, brown, black, somewhere like that, this template is not gonna be helpful for you either. Let's say you have black hair, black eyes, you'll automatically be a winter according to that table. Winter is cool. I can tell you quite a few people who have very, very dark skin, black hair, black eyes, but their undertone is still warm. So this whole theory of seasons is clearly not perfect, right? It can help some people find out which colors suit them well. It will help some of you, but not everyone. It doesn't work for everyone, and that's a simplified model, so it can't work for everyone. I would recommend that you go and see for yourself. Look at your undertone, warm or cool, always, that's super important. All methods agree, I agree. That's really, really important for you to know. And then play on the second parameter on my chart, which was the value, does a lighter, or a deeper color work better on you or somewhere in between play with that and then play with the next parameter on the chart which was the chroma does a brighter or a more muted color work on you or something in between when you see one color where you're like oh i look great in that one <laughs> try to find out why analyze why and go from there not everyone fits in a table and that is okay <laughs> thumbs up if you enjoyed this video thank you very much. Subscribe to this channel for more fashion videos and I'll see you as every week on Sunday and Wednesday again. Take care. Bye bye.